Good morning and hey howdy to you, James Adams. I'm here to talk to you about landscape lighting, your lucky day. Uh, Paul and I have been uh, discussing this and stuff coming in online and I was gonna do a big whiteboard and some other stuff and I realized in all the landscape lighting I've done over the years, the biggest issues are really two things. And so we're gonna start a short series on landscape lighting, but work with me this morning. The first most important two things you've gotta do uh, they're not, is this the right fixture? Should I buy this brand? Should I have this kind of transformer? Uh, no, not at all. Two things. First thing, give me eye contact, look at me. First thing is, what do you want to see at night at, the, at your area? Whether it's the front of your house, your back patio, the backyard. What do you want to see? And a lot of times people are like, ah, I just don't want it to be dark. Well, I mean, if you want that, buy a thousand flashlights. I know that's a little sarcastic, but my point is, what do you want to see? Here's another way to frame that question is, how do you want to feel about that space? Okay, I have parts of my backyard, it's a good sized backyard, where there's dark, and I don't, it feels, some of the back stuff behind shrubs and stuff feels actually a little scary. I, I, I want to be able to see that, but not light it up like a prison yard. Um, the other, the other way to ask that question in terms of what do you want to see is what is great about that space? Whether it's the front of your house or it's an area around the pool, what's great about that? Because whatever that is, that's what you want to light up, okay? So the first thing is, do you, so do you have cool front brick or stone columns? Do you have great landscaping with a lot of colorful masonry? Do you have cool pavers going up to a certain area? Do you have a statue? Um, anything but the thing is it can't just be bright more is not better so this is the first question and you're really the only one to answer that is what do you want to see what do you how do you want to feel about that space once it's lit up um, the second point which is equally as important because a lot of times on the front end I'm talking to clients and they're getting stressed about again should, should I buy this light fixture or or should I do this it's like oh no 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 so the second rule of landscape lighting design per James Adams is settle down. Settle down. Um, landscape lighting is super subjective. Okay, it's a lot like the color you paint your rooms. Yeah, there's stuff that's maybe a fad or something you saw another house do, but at the end of the day, it's not gonna be perfect. It's gonna be a process. And I say that because so many of my clients have so much pressure as we're walking through and they start to realize how much detail there is to landscape lighting. And I just say, let's start with the non-negotiables, the things you've got to have. Let's size the transformer to power more lights if you need them, and then make it a process. Especially when you walk your property daytime with somebody versus night, it's impossible. You heard me say the I word. It's impossible to figure out what it's going to look like and how you're going to feel about it at night. Start with the basics, light it, and be, and be willing to change it. Now, for some of you, it's like, well, gosh, you know, I don't want to call the electrician back out to change or move. So for those of you who are physically able and willing, I want to share a secret with you about landscape lighting that a lot of professionals won't tell you. You see this stake? This is how most lights are held in the ground for landscape lighting. It's a stake or a backup zombie apocalypse weapon. Um, so my point is, this is attached to a low voltage piece of wireless, 12 volts. Not too dangerous, really. So if I have this light here next to a path and I want it a foot over here, I pick it up, I put it over here. Done. Okay, so my point is, settle down, it doesn't have to be perfect out of the gate. Okay. If you can do those two things, the rest of it's just details and you're in a great position, you have it framed to do something to end up that's gonna be really beautiful, very dramatic. Uh, we're gonna post some pictures. I love the first time I see a new landscape lighting job and you have that wow. You drive back by, usually my landscape lighting projects, I'll go back after the first night, if I can, the first time when the lights are on with the homeowner and you stand there and the lights come on, and you're just like, oh my gosh, it's a, it's a different house. And then the second part, which is less mature, is like all my neighbors are gonna hate me because my house looks fantastic. Uh, probably justified, not mature, but it's okay, it's still fun. Anyways, 
join me again in our next video. Uh, if you could, click su subscribe, um, hit like, and leave some comments about what you think on your house and ideas. Ha ask some questions. But on the following um, uh, probably two more videos, we're going to talk about some ideas and some techniques for landscape lighting, some tools. Uh, but please remember, figure out what it is and settle down about it because it's going to be a process. Thank you much. Bye.